Every day we're eating acai bowls. They're so good, I can't stop. I love it. And I get protein in there from Vital Proteins, which I love, so that's what's going on for breakfast. What did you put in the acai bowl? Um, strawberries, uh, fresh from the farm. Mm -hmm. And uh, are they blackberries too? Yeah. Right? Added blackberries fresh from the farm. And we don't have cacao nibs like we normally do for topping. So we have cacao powder. And I just kind of didn't really measure. I just poured some on the top <laughs> and it just came out like all fast. So um, yeah, that's in there too. And um, yeah, so it tastes great. So. Yummy. So vital proteins and blueberries too. Yep. And bananas. almond milk, bananas. And ice cubes mm -hmm. and uh, uh, chia seeds, hemp seeds. Um, coconut, coconut, and uh, honey. honey. Yeah, um, that's it's really good. And that's the fun thing about acai bowls. You can throw it, everything in there, but the kitchen sink. So exactly. Let's get it, baby. So today has been a super busy day working on stuff for you guys. You're gonna see in 2018. So can't blog that. But it's towards the end of the day now. But I didn't get ready today because I was mostly just like working on stuff. So I need to, not I need to, I want to. I want to put on some makeup right now because we're going to my nephew's football game. So I wanted to show you guys my updated makeup routine because I did try out the Too Faced. I'm going to wet my beauty blender while I'm talking to you. Um, I did try out the Too Faced um, makeup, the foundation. And honestly, you guys, I loved the way that it, I, I really did love it. And I feel like if you don't have sensitive skin, there's so many people that absolutely love that foundation. Uh, for me personally, it ended up not working for me and I was getting really bad breakouts on my chin. Um, I thought it was hormonal and part of it could have been hormonal honestly, but they wouldn't go away and they were like deep, deep pimples on my chin, which was very annoying. Um, and so I stopped using it and it went away. I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna go back to what I know and what I know is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. As long as I make sure to really get this off of my face at night, I don't break out. So if I don't get it all off, then I will and I can break out. But as long as I really get this off, then I'm pretty much good to go. And I've also been doing something else that I feel like is really helping and that's putting on sunscreen underneath my foundation. I feel like it creates a barrier between my skin and the foundation uh, because I have this. And this is my favorite sunscreen. I'm not sure, I'm gonna try to find it and link it down below because I feel like everybody um, I, I feel like everybody that's like sensitive to breaking out you're gonna love this sunscreen it's never broken me out never 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 I've been using it for years and I just started recently using it underneath my foundation and I was scared to do that at first because I'm gonna show you the texture of it and sorry it's kind of dirty because Bo uses it when he goes surfing we need to get a new one yeah that's the consistency it's like almost like a jelly which is kind of weird between the sunscreen and then the foundation I just feel like it has such a beautiful look and it really sets well with my skin like I just feel like this is really working for me and then of course I'm still trying to get rid of the texture bumps that I was experiencing like I talked about in yesterday's vlog from the bare minerals which is so interesting because I got a comment and I might have gotten a few more I haven't read through all the comments yet which I will do today um, but I got a comment saying that happened to one of you too so it's pretty crazy I mean some people's skin just does not agree with some stuff so yeah, pretty, pretty nuts that that happened to you too. But yeah, those texture bumps just like were so crazy. So I'm still trying to get rid of those. But anyway, I keep saying that. So right now I'm going to use the Tarte. This is the Shape Tape Concealer. And I just use a tiny bit of that underneath my eyes. I just like knowing that my skin is protected and I'm really trying to get better at wearing sunscreen. Um, I was never good about doing that when I was younger and I feel like it's really important to me now um, as a part of my skincare routine. I always wanna make sure that when I go outside I have t some type of um, protection on my skin. I will say that the lighting in here, it looks so much different when I look at my skin right now than when I look at it here on this camera. It just makes me look so incredibly shiny but I'm not even really that shiny but it makes me look really shiny on the camera for some reason so I don't know why but you'll see what it looks like hopefully when it's all finished next thing I've been using is the Josie Moran Argon Illuminizer I used to use this too I'm just kind of going back honestly to like my old staple products I'm gonna go in with this and I'm just gonna put this on uh, my cheekbones as my highlight the next thing that I do which is new to my makeup routine is use the makeup forever professional pro finish powder this is in the color 117 I really like this powder it's not breaking me out I'm not having any issues with it and it's just it's honestly it's 
pretty translucent, I feel like, um, but it does add a little bit of color. It just really matches my skin really well. So that's why I like using it and um, it helps my under eye to not like, I don't know, uh, crease or anything like that. Okay, next I'm gonna go with my Anastasia contour kit and I use this middle color right here. I really like it as a bronzer. I feel like the color looks really natural and really nice. So that's what I use. This is just one of my favorites. This is the Too Faced Pink Leopard Bronzer. I love this. I think I will always use this. I just love the way that it looks on my skin and I just feel like I get so many compliments when I wear it too and I just feel like it just, I don't know, it just really looks really good with my skin. I honestly just use like a tiny bit of it because a little bit goes a very long way. Now we're gonna go in with uh, the primer that I use for my eyes, which is the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And I'm really running out of this, so I need to get a new one, but I will literally use it until it's gone um, because it's expensive. And I think I only buy it like once a year, maybe like once every year and a half, which I don't know if that's good or not, but it really lasts such a long time, especially if you're patient with it and you like get all the product out of it. I've been using this primer for literally years and years and years and it's just my favorite and it just works really, really well for me. This is the Anastasia Brow Definer in Soft Brown and I have pretty thick eyebrows to begin with. I, I'm getting my eyebrows done um, actually this coming week. I was, I did have an eyebrow appointment for tomorrow morning, but I mentioned, I think on actually Vlogtober day one that Bo lost somebody that's, that was really, really close to him. And so um, we're gonna be at the funeral and the burial. Yeah, just wanted to let you know though. For eyeshadow, I've been doing it a little bit differently. I'm still using my Lorac or Lorac or whatever it's called palette. And I've been using these three colors. So I'm just gonna show you. So I'm gonna use this medium brown and then the dark brown and then the black. So I'm gonna be using Cool Taupe, DK Brown, and Jet Black for this look. So I'm gonna start off with the lightest brown. So basically I just go into the crease with that color. This is like the easiest, it's my new favorite, favorite way to do my eyeshadow right now. I always come up with like a new favorite way every now and again and then I just do it for months until I get sick of it. And then I go in with the dark brown and I just tap it into the outer half of my eye and then I do it again on the other side and it kind of just gives you a little bit more dimension. Not, not a lot, but just enough. All in all, I'm talking through this so it does take longer, but when I'm just like doing this, it's like really fast. Um, then I grab the black and I just, once again, barely, barely put that into the outer part of my eye. And then I grab a different black fluffy brush and I just blend it in to make sure that it's not like super harsh looking. After that, I grab uh, just a simple brown eyeliner. This one is uh, from Tarte and it's the Skinny Smolder Eyes in Moonstone Brown and then I just do my tight line. Then I grab it and I put it on my upper lash line. And then this is kind of weird but I actually really like the way that it looks when I blend it out with my finger. So I literally just take my finger and I smudge it until I can smudge it no more. The good thing too is that it is a darker look, but um, because I'm using a brown liner, it doesn't look that intense. Like, I don't know if you can tell right now, but I don't feel like it looks like extremely uh, too intense for like a daytime look. I take that liner as well and I just kind of go right in the outer, very, very outer corner of my eye. I set it with that color Cool Taupe, which is that light brown that we used in the very beginning. I don't want the eyeliner to go anywhere, so I just set it. I've been actually like really into travel size mascaras because they don't uh, dry out as fast, I feel like. Um, so I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I just feel like, I don't know why makeup companies name things the way they name things. This is unnecessary, I just have this one and it's a little bit more dried out so it works better for my lower lashes. Uh, but this is the Marc Jacobs mascara and this, I don't know what this is called. And last but not least, I'm gonna grab Vanilla by MAC and I'm just gonna pop that into the inner corner of my eye. It just kind of brightens everything up a bit. Perfect. I'm also gonna put it underneath my brow bone. I just used a towel and I just like wiped off anything that was on my lips. And I'm just gonna see if I have a lipstick in here. I'm gonna use this NYX one in circle. That is my everyday makeup look. And we're gonna go to the football game. We're gonna head over there. We're gonna actually carpool with my sister-in-law. Love her. She's the one that I work out with. Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. I thought that I wasn't gonna vlog today. I thought we were both weren't gonna vlog today. But Bo decided that 
We're gonna vlog, right? Yeah. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Today we celebrated somebody that Bo loved so, so much. We celebrated his life. He impacted my life greatly. Um, he's just one of the greatest men that I've ever, you know, he's up there with my grandfather, you know, a man that poured into my life and, and taught me, he taught me how to face myself and um, he just, he's not just me, but so many others. But in that time that we've had together, he's like, it's something I will hold on for the rest of my life. And, and I, I just thank God that I've had, I've had Marty in my life, Aww. you know, and Marty, Marty impacted my life and I love him so much. And, yeah, today it was a hard day. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, you know, we have the hope of heaven. That's and right. that's the best thing about it. That's right. Is, you know, I just, I know that this life is but a vapor. You know, this life passes by that, you know, you know, we have, you know, we have people that will go. But the best thing about it is I know I will see him again. That's and right. I know his hope is in the Lord. And, yeah. and that's the best news ever. What are we going to do right now? We're gonna get one of those uh, sushi Sushi wrap. burritos! As we've been talking so much about eating, and eating just like intuitively basically, we don't really eat any rice. Rice is just one of those things where it sometimes just kind of like upsets my stomach and I just don't feel great after eating it. So, but that's if I eat it on a regular basis. And I know that probably sounds really weird, but once again, it's one of those things where you just have to listen to your body. But if I have it every now and again, um, it, I'm fine, like I'm okay with it. But once to get some coffee and some sushi burritos. So that's what we're gonna do, right? All day. All day. I loved marrying you. What do you mean you loved? It was loved. in the past. I know. I'm glad Marty got to come to our wedding. Yeah, that was, yeah, I was really happy about that. I know, it was the best. Great man, great man. Always hold him near and dear to my heart. I know, baby. Yeah, there's, you know, I want to tell you this. There's people that will come in your life, especially in my life, that impact, that will impact your life, you know, and I, you know, like, if you didn't grow up with a dad, you know, God will provide people through your life, a grandfather, an uncle, whoever, um, you know, somebody that will, this, that just impacts your life in a positive way, you know, yeah. and he was that, well, that God provides people like that That's to right. come in and, and just, um, to really come alongside and mm -hmm. just really show you what, it, show you just shows you how to be it. Like I don't know. Sorry, I'm getting a little no. tired. But yeah, I thank God for Marty. What it means to be a man, you know, and yeah, just trained trained hard with him, and yeah. and I always knew that I made him proud. Always, mm -hmm. made, I always everything he ever told me. He always says, "I you know, I believe you can do it." You know, he always challenged me. And I always believed him, like he, like I always knew that he would have me ready for whatever. And I know I always made him proud, and that's the best feeling that I have. I know that there's no regrets. No. Because I, those times I drive back with him after, um, after a tournament or a certain training, and just I just knew that he knew that I, I gave it my all. That's right. And um, and that's something I can hang my hat on, you know, just no. I can be proud about. Yeah. So I have peace in my heart, and I know I made him very proud. Good. Especially what we, um, what he taught me to do. So that's right. He was a great man. Yes, he was. Yes. So, we'll God see him again. You, we love you. Aww. Um, and if you guys feel like I don't know, pray for the family. Uh -oh. This guy. Uh oh. Okay. That looks delicious. Hi, cute husband. Super Ooh, good. What? Okay. What did you get? I got the, the spicy. Uh, Tuna, salmon. Yeah, spicy tuna. Are you happy? I just want you to be happy. Tuna, yellowtail, mango, pineapple, avocado, carrots, and cucumber with gluten free sauce. Jeez. <laughs> Are you zooming? In? Very much so. Gosh. Oh, can't break. Oh my gosh. My cute husband, what'd you get? I got a cold brew with almond milk. Yummy. I got. Cafe au lait with almond milk. It's the best. What's up? This is so good. How good is it? It's so good. So Bo thinks it's funny because he's caught on to the almond milk trend. <laughs> and he gets like a little bit of almond milk in his cold brew. That I've been hanging out with some of my buddies and they're all about the coffee game. And they go in there, they know what they want. And uh, I'm like trying to like, 
keep up with them and I, I realize I don't know anything about coffee shops. Yeah, when I finally catch on, I find like, okay, I'm gonna branch out, I'm gonna go get a cold brew, like I know what I'm talking about in these nice fancy coffee shops. And then I, I was like, hey, can I get almond milk in there? And everyone's like, kind of like, what? <laughs> and I don't know, I, like when I think I'm doing it right, I do it wrong. Let me try it. That's right, convert one. Convert one. It's actually pretty good. Did I just start something? Did I start a trend with the cold brew? Thumbs up. I mean, it's really good. Thumbs up if you know know what I'm talking about here. Heaven will be a good place. Yes, it will. Hey, little guy. Hello. What are you doing? Whose dog is that? I don't know. Hey, what are you doing down here, bud? Oh.